In 2019, our local arts and community charity, VML, decided to step in with an initiative to raise awareness of knife crime amongst young people in our society. There had been several stabbings in the local community, indeed one fatal stabbing which had involved a family known to me as a teaching assistant in local primary schools, made it clear to me that knife crime wasn't just something that happened to other people, but that the epidemic happened close to home too. As leader of VML, I decided that the best way to use the art with young people is in a teaching way, to educate and to enlighten, because children can learn a lot from being encouraged to witness the effects of crime and violence through other means, rather than the stark headlines spread across the tabloids. We began to create a knife crime drama together for the children and young people to both write or add their thoughts to and decided to film it over the summer of 2019. But how could we use this to its full effect? How could we use what they knew as acting to show the dark consequences of violence and crime? After all, they had seen the drama come to life by their own input. They had been involved in the filming and in so doing had bonded even further as a group of young people, some of whom already knew people who carried knives to school. We decided therefore to take the end of the story out of their hands and kept it amongst the adults of the group and created a court case. In the court case, which happened a few months after filming, we invited a jury of 12 adults not connected in any way to the children involved and we also had a number of adult actors playing the barristers, the judge and the police officers involved. Whilst the film was rather short and simplified, bearing in mind we were dealing with some young children, we were able to show it first to the mock court and a large audience of local community people before the court case was commenced. And here is that film. It's true, I swear. I saw the police down our road, blue lights flashing and everything. 
Yeah, but how do you know it's a stabbing, eh? You are full of it, you, sometimes. Oh, did you see the coffin flying down our roads? Yeah. Woo! Oh, go away, you two. This isn't a game. Aw, let us play, please. No, go away, you two. You're annoying us both. Aw. Hey, lads. Brad and Tarky just been stabbed. No, he hasn't. It's true, I saw it. It was dead scary, mate. I liked it. What's going on with you, Bob? Your Brandon's just been stabbed. Apparently. No, he hasn't. He melted. He's at home, grounded. I swear, Dad, I did. There's a fight or something. If Keen grabs, pull the knife. Get and... lost. Keen doesn't even have a knife. He, he wouldn't do that. Like, don't believe me. Come down and see all the coppers on Westfield Road. It's the area's taped off and everything. Okay, Keen, can you start from the beginning, please, and tell me exactly what's happened to me? Keen, you need to talk. I am here to support you, but you need to tell the officer exactly what's happened to me. Did you stab Brandon Stark? I did. Did he threaten you? Why did you stab him then? Did you set out to attack Starkey today? He was my friend! Calm down, you're not helping yourself. Why did you stab him?
none of us at VML had any control of the outcome of the drama, and that is exactly how families feel in real life, a consequence not lost on the young people involved. The jury found the defendant not guilty on the basis that it was the victim's knife that had been used to threaten the defendant who had acted in self-defense. None of the court transcript was written. It was all improvised, so the outcome could have been anything. However, we were glad that what transpired was the reality that people who carry knives very often become the victims of their own weapons, and that, I think, hit home to some of the children. It is the duty of everyone in society, particularly those who work around children, to play their part to combat the rise in crime and to ensure that we teach at every level that there are other ways. We at VML were very proud of what we did with the youth drama in 2019 and we will always lead by example.